Tuesday, I'm fading. Goodbye, real bit Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday, Tuesday's gone with the wind. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Arnold Palmer died on Sunday. He was one of the greatest golfers ever, and he transformed the game from a country club thing into a national sport. He won seven majors and was the first person to make a million dollars from golf. Here's a small NSS tribute we put together. Arnold Palmer took golf from the sports pages to the front page, and it also made golf an every man sport, even if you didn't play it. I think, that, I think that's the biggest thing that we could say about what Arnold Palmer meant to the sport and to sports. The ball on the green, and within approximately three feet of the pin, a magnificent shot by Arnold Palmer. Years and years from now, Mr. Palmer, what do you want the legacy of Arnold Palmer to be? Well, uh, I suppose it just that I have made a contribution to the game to help make it a little better. You have that, sir. Thank you for your time today. Thank you. Legendary Dodgers announcer Vin Scully called his last regular season game in Dodger Stadium Sunday night. He worked with the team for 67 years, the longest any announcer ever worked with any professional sports team. And it was an absolute fairy tale ending. The Dodgers were losing in the bottom of the 10th with two out, and a guy named Charlie Culberson hit a two run walk off homer that clinched the pennant. Here's the call. Oh, and one to Charlie. Swung on a high fly ball to deep left field. The Dodgers bench empties. Would you believe a home run? And the Dodgers have clinched the division and will celebrate on schedule. Leave it to the Dodgers. Charlie Culberson, a game winning home run. What a moment to have it. And would you believe his first home run of the year? It wasn't fame, booze, drugs, or cheating that caused the most trouble for Brad and Angelina. No, according to TMZ sources, Angelina is so obsessed with becoming the head of the United Nations, it caused major marital issues with Brad. TMZ says Brad became increasingly upset over Angelina's political ambitions. The source claims she had two political advisors and a war room to help with decisions and image. Brad was especially upset that Angelina had taken the kids to various war-torn countries, including Lebanon and Iraq. The first presidential debate was last night. Clinton spent weeks preparing for the debate, while Trump spent a few minutes memorizing synonyms for the word liar. Donald Trump threatened to invite Jennifer Flowers to last night's debate. He also wanted to invite Monica Lewinsky, but figured she'd just blow it. <laughs> Singer Marilyn Manson recently said he doesn't plan on voting because he doesn't like Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump. That story again, the 2016 election too scary for even Marilyn Manson. Starting Thanksgiving, FX will air TV's longest marathon ever. Every episode of The Simpsons for a total of 300 hours. That way, if you get tired of using football as an excuse not to have to talk to your relatives, you can use The Simpsons as an excuse not to have to talk to your relatives. A scientist says he's invented an alcohol substitute that will get you drunk but will leave you without a hangover. And just like that, the dudes destroy an entire genre of movies. The South Korean defense minister admitted that his government has a plan to assassinate North Korean President Kim Jong-un. Three words, poisoned hair gel. Great story here. Former NFL linebacker Napoleon Harris is now a state senator in Illinois. He's also a businessman with a couple of pizza franchises. When he personally made a delivery the other night, he was jumped by three guys who beat him up and stole his wallet. He chased them down and ended up helping authorities solve an open murder case. In one night, he did more work than the senators in Washington have done since they were elected. Time for Nobody Gives a F***. 
Michael Strawn says his divorce was the toughest thing he's ever endured, which is saying something, considering he used to spend five days a week trapped in a studio with Kelly Ripa. Hey, Gap Tooth, nobody gives a f Environmentalists are trying to get the bumblebee added to America's endangered species list. Then they changed their minds after they were at a picnic for five minutes. Hey, scientists, nobody gives a f and Kim Kardashian says she wants to go to law school. And that's today's edition of Jokes Not Needing a Punchline. Hey, Kiki, nobody gives a f Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live, starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests, including the legendary Phil Esposito. Tuesdays and Thursdays, right here on NSS.